you. <laughs> I didn't mean to dress up like you, but <laughs> I, I got dressed and I was like, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I'll go with it. Uh, let's jump in. Sure. So, as you as early as a few years ago, you were saying you know you weren't interested in doing another season, but never say never. Mm -hmm. So, what really changed your mind? Uh, Mark Frost called me and asked me to go to Musso and Frank restaurant and have lunch, and we started talking, and it was it just happened to be about 25 years later. Hmm. Which, as we know, has huge significance for mm, the show. Right. So was that really the guiding principle with which you got reinterested in the material? That was part of it, yeah. And the love of the world and the characters. Which characters stuck with you most in the interim? Was it the same? All of the them. End? They're like family. And the world with them in it was uh, something that, um, you know, I would think about. I mean, when you started reapproaching the material, did you? How was the creative process for you? Did you just start getting images? We um, uh, worked together. Uh, sometimes uh, Mark would come to my house, but pretty soon uh, we started skyping with one another. So Mark was living in Ojai, and I'm living in L.A. So we would Skype, and that worked out really well. Did you... Catching ideas, talking, and one thing leads to another, and then one day there it is. So when you went back to, to filming this, did you have certain ideas of how you wanted to have it look? Did you want it to feel the same? Did you want the atmosphere to feel we the same? We wanted to follow the ideas that came. And can you tell me about how you put together this cast? I mean, were there a lot of people that... Cause In the ideas, certain people appear, mm -hmm. and then you want to get them. Did you have certain people that had always been asking to be a part of this? Because I know you had tons of people come to you for Fire Walk with me. Um, you want to get the right person for the role. And that, you know, is, the, is how, what you do, what you try to do. So um, it's always the same, the right person for the role. But you can't tell me anything about that? No. <laughs> sure. So, I mean, looking back at your film career, do you find yourself thinking about all of your different characters? I mean, do you... Sure, from time to time. And I always say it's good once in a while to go back and look at earlier work because it might uh, uh, give a kind of a... Uh, something for the work you're doing now. So it's sometimes good to go back. How do you view your early work differently? Are there any films that just no, have changed in your No, it's always the same. You do the best you can, and then one day you say it's done, and uh, that's it. I mean, television has caught up in a lot of ways for the creative process to what you were trying to do, and they're a lot more accommodating to meeting someone's vision for what they want this to be. So how different was it for you to get that sort of the budget that you needed, the, the creative um, boost that you needed from everyone around you? You, uh, well, uh, we, we got what we needed. <laughs> sure, I mean, did you, I mean, obviously there was a time when you thought about stepping away from it, so mm -hmm. was that when, just... When maybe we wouldn't get what we needed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, d could you see yourself doing more television in the future? I mean, a different sort of project? Sh sure. Um, you know, uh, the idea dictates everything. So you get an idea for um, building something in the wood shop. That's what I, and if I fell in love with that, I would do that next. You know what I mean? So uh, if something comes along that you fall in love with, then that's what you do. In, in terms of feature films, did you, I mean, since you made your last film, have you just kind of not caught any ideas for features? Or did you just No, I've away? got, I had, you know, a couple of times uh, things that I thought I wanted to do and for one reason or another <clears throat> it didn't happen. So uh, I think feature films are in trouble and the art houses are dead. Uh, so um, cable television being, uh, you know, a uh, place for a continuing story w told with freedom is a beautiful thing. But who is the hardest to be without in approaching the new season? 
nobody, uh, you know, a thing sort of wants to be the way it wants to be. And so uh, if um, something doesn't happen the way you thought it should happen, you get new ideas. So knowing that, as you were saying, that the art house is dying and television is the way. Not dying, dead. Dead. <laughs> um, do you view a lot of the, the work that's out there as well, or are you really just closed off to No, I don't see there? anything. Sure. All right, well, I, we have to wrap it up, so <laughs> okay. thank you so much. It's good talking to you. You as well.